hi friends welcome back to this new video tutorial today I am going to show you how you can use the switch function in Microsoft Excel we can use this switch function as an alternative to ifs or nested if function to explain you about the switch function here I have created three different example first of all let's understand the data here in the example one I have the sales representative reason sales amount and the commission amount this commission amount is calculated by using the switch function because this commission amount is conditional here you can see for east the commission percentage is 2% for west it is 3% for north it is 2.25 and for south it is 2.75 so here the commission is calculated for different regions by using the switch function in the second example I have student name their score and the grade is calculated here by using the switch function based on this grading criteria similarly here in the example number three I have the sales report for different reasons like east west north and south and here I have a drop down menu for selecting the reason and item whatever reason or item I select from here the result will automatically change here and here also the switch function is used so let's go to the first example here and start learning how to use switch function here let me delete this previously used formula then here let's see what does excel says about this function here let me press is equal to then type switch here you see the theoretical description of the function which says the switch function evaluates and expression against a list of values and returns the result corresponding to the first matching value if there is no match an optional default value is returned so here let me use the switch function to calculate the commission amount press equal to then type switch open parenthesis in the expression let me select this region now this reason or the expression will be compared to every single value that we put here in the value 1 value 2 value 3 parameter then when the match is found the corresponding result will be displayed so here give a comma in the value 1 put the first reason that is east while writing the text value inside formula put the double quotation before and after double quotation close now give a comma in the result one we have to put the commission percentage for the east region so here let me put two percent now give a comma in the value two type here another reason that is west double quotation west double quotation comma in the result two we have to put the commission percentage for west that is three percent then give a comma in the value three put the another reason that is north comma in the result 3 put the commission percentage for north that is 2.25 percent comma in the value 4 put the another reason that is south comma in the result 4 put the commission percentage for south that is 2.75 percentage now close parenthesis the switch function simply compares the expression with every single value when the expression matches with the value then it will pick up the corresponding result now let me hit enter and here you see the commission amount 0.02 is given now if you drag this down you will see all the commission that is applicable for these reasons to calculate the commission amount we have to multiply this commission percentage with the sales amount so double click in the formula click at the end type the multiplication symbol then click on the sales amount which is in the c5 cell so let me put here c5 cell reference then press enter and here you see the commission amount is calculated simply drag the formula down and all the commission is calculated by using the switch function let's go to another example that is to calculate the grade of the student let me delete this previously used formula from here and here in this cell press equal to type the switch function then open parenthesis in the expression we have to put the result of the logical test that can be either true or false because for the grade A 
the score should be greater than or is equal to 90 if this logic returns true then we have to display a in the result so here in the expression put true that is the result of the logical calculation then give a comma in the value 1 we have to put the logic that is this score should be greater than or equal to 90 so click on this score put the greater than equal to symbol then type 90 now this logical test will return the result is true if the value in b5 is greater than or equal to 90 so give a comma here then in the result one we have to put the first grade that is a so here type double quotation a double quotation then give a comma now here in the value 2 we have to put the another logic that is b5 is greater than equal to 80 then give a comma here in the result 2 put the second grade that is double quotation b double quotation give a comma in the value 3 put here b5 is greater than is equal to 70 then give a comma in the result 3 put double quotation c double quotation comma in the value 4 put b5 is greater than equal to 60 comma in the result 4 put the grade d double quotation d double quotation then give a comma finally in the value 5 put the another logic for e grade that is b5 should be less than 60 give a comma and in the result put the e grade double quotation e double quotation now close the bracket switch function will compare this expression with the result of every single logical testing here and when the match is found the corresponding result will be displayed let me press enter and here you see the grade is calculated for the score 68 the grade is d now if you drag this formula down you will get all the grades here you see the grades are calculated by using the switch function now let's go to the example number three and here i need to calculate the total quantity sold that matches with these two conditions if i select a different region here the quantity automatically change in the waste region the sales of heater is given as 46 unit if you see in the table of waste the sales of heater is 46 if you change the region to south then the result of heater is given as 54 here also if you see the heater sales in the south region is 54 so here we can use the switch function to get the value so let me delete this and start using the formula press equal to type switch function open parenthesis in the expression we have to take the reason here then give a comma in the value one put the first reason name that is east so type here double quotation east double quotation then give a comma in the result one now we have to use the vlookup function to get the sales of the item given here so here type the vlookup open parenthesis in the lookup value click on the item name that is in the e2 cell so here i am putting e2 cell reference give a comma in the table array select the east sales report then give a comma in the column index number put 2 because the quantity sold is on the second column comma in the range lookup select exact match by double clicking then close the vlookup function then give a comma now here in the value 2 put another reason name that is quest so here type double quotation quest double quotation comma in the result 2 we have to now use another vlookup function for the waste table so here type vlookup open parenthesis in the lookup value put e2 cell reference comma in the table array select this waste cells table comma in the column index number put 2 comma range lookup choose the exact match close the vlookup function now give a comma in the value 3 parameter put the another reason name that is north so here type double quotation north double quotation 
then give a comma in the result 3 we have to now combine another vlookup so type here vlookup open parenthesis in the lookup value take this e2 cell reference so type here e2 comma in the table array let's select this north table then give a comma column index is 2 comma then take the exact match close the vlookup function now give a comma in the value for parameter put the another reason that is south so here type double quotation south double quotation comma in the result combine the another vlookup open parenthesis lookup value is the e2 cell table array is the south cells report column index number is 2 comma then the range lookup is exact match now close parenthesis close another parenthesis for the switch function now press enter and here you see the quantity sold is calculated now if you change the reason from here let's take west then the result auto change if you change the item if you take television here you see the quantity changes for television the cells in the west region is 47 unit so in this way we can use the switch function in excel as an alternative to ifs or the nested if function and this was for today's video thank you so much for watching we will again meet in next tutorial